So one of the very interesting teaching in Bhagavad Gita is that Krishna is saying, if somebody is offering me some fruit or flower or leaf or water uh, with the devotional heart or with the right intent, I accept that offering happily. Yeah, Such a nice way to say that uh, what you offer is not really important. It's your intent behind the offer that counts. Yeah, These fruit and flower and leaf, they are not expensive stuff. It's that intent behind that offering that really matters. Yeah. He also mentioned that um, uh, you uh, you are performing these actions on three different levels, right? You are performing these karmas on three different levels. One is the uh, action or karma that is happening through your body. Another one is happening through your speech. And the last one is happening through your intent or your through mind, through your mind, right? And this last one is what really matters, right? It matters because it creates fruit. The other ones are just the manifestation of the intent itself, the manifestation of your uh, mental uh, karmas, right? So it's intent that really matters. If your intent is correct, then your speech and the uh, bodily action automatically gets in the right direction. If your intent is impure, then uh, then it goes into a different direction, right? So it is this intent that, that is most important. Why it is most important? Because it creates fruit, right? It creates... Uh, uh, different fruits based on your different intent right for example let's say i'm creating this video and my intent to create the video is to impress other people yeah uh, now that has a different kind of fruits as compared to if my intent to create this video video is to express myself or if my intent is to create this video is to serve other people right so these kind of intent creates a different uh, uh, fruits here yeah? for example let's say my intent uh, is to create the video is to impress other people right now, first of all, uh, when I perform an action based on that intent, uh, I feel certain way, right? Uh, that that intent itself feels certain way emotionally, right? I feel maybe I will feel something like a proud or um, nervousness, or I don't know. But there will be some uh, emotion that is attached to that intent, right? And that emotion feels certain way, right? If that emotion feels satisfying, that emotion feels disturbing, it feels certain way. So that is for one kind of a fruit that I'm getting out of my intent. And then once I have created a action through my intent, that action creates a reaction, right? Now based on, let's say if I've done it for the impressing other people, now that start the whole cycle of reaction. Now I have a judgment about myself, right? Now I feel good about myself. I feel bad about myself. And then that creates even more reactions and all that. So I have started the whole cycle of reaction based on what I've done through my intent, right? And that is the fruit of my action. That is the fruit of my intent that is happening through me so that is one kind of um, um, fruit that i get out of my intent and the fruit will be very different if my intent was let's say for serving right then i feel different and then the reaction that starts is also different right so th these are two different reactions that are happening based on my intent and that is one one way of seeing what is the fruit of my intent and another thing and which is even more important is these intents multiplies right so whatever I am doing, for I am doing it with whatever intent I am doing, it's almost is as if that I am push, putting some energy into it, right? And wherever I put my energy, that thing grows. So if I have performed my action, it's almost like I have, I have put energy into this, right? So if my intent today was to impress other people, tomorrow I will have even a stronger urge to, you know, impress other people. And that way it keeps multiplying, right? And it's very important to understand this and choose right intent. So like over the period of time, our you know, inner conditioning is very different as compared to if we are not choosing the right intent. And so these are the two kind of fruits that we get out of the intent. And this is what Krishna is saying that your intent is far more important as compared to uh, what you are doing out of your bodily action or your speech. Yeah. And also Buddha says the same thing. He says uh, that if somebody d has done something with the wrong intent or impure mind, uh, the unhappiness follows him like a cart follow the ox. <laughs> Old example. Uh, if, but if somebody has done something with the pure intent or pure heart, the happiness follow him just like the cart follow the ox. Same thing, you know, just, just in different words. Uh, so this is why the intent is important and this is why we need to work on our intent which is far more important than working on other stuff right